Hi. So the holidays are upon us. Hanukkah has already begun and the Christmas spirit is everywhere. Um, I'm super excited because I figured I would come on and play with a holiday look. I just shared a video from Lime Life's corporate office of our chief empowerment officer. And, um, oh goodness, I don't even know what Christy's title is, but she's like the go-to girl for everything. And they're gorgeous and they work in our corporate office. And um, Jacob is a professional makeup artist that has done phenomenal, phenomenal things in his career prior to and while being with Alcone Corporation and now Lime Life. So they're just amazing. But I figured I would pop on and give you um, a different sort of holiday look. Uh, I love the the brown smoky eye that they did. It was just gorgeous. But again, Christy is just gorgeous. Um, but I also wanted to say because everyone has started their advent calendars. And I think I told you that this one is mine that I got for myself. My little Holly Dozen collection. So there's 12 items in here and they're amazing. So I really think that if you have not gotten this, um, that you should really consider going and getting it while they are still available because these minis are the jam. Am I opening the wrong side? I'm opening the wrong side. Um, I still have mine in like a cute little display. This is Sotox, some Sotox in like a cute little deluxe travel size that you can carry with you because don't we all need to travel with our goodies? Um, that's a mask, again, travel size. There's a mini clear eyebrow gel. So that's the, like, this one's gonna go in my purse. But in comparison to the full size eyebrow gel, that is the difference. So cute, right? Um, let's pop that baby back in there. Some gloss, love it. A little brush, like all of these are pocket size. There's one down here also. A little mini blender full. Did I get everything on this page? And then this is super cute because this is New York. And there's an Alcone store in here somewhere. Where is it? There it is, right there. Cute little Alcone store because that's our parent company. And then this is France. And then where's our little L'Occitane store because they are our partner. So down we, here we have a um, primer spray. We have, oh, my Winnie. Where is my mini one drop wonder? I'm gonna have to find that. Um, eyeshadow, another mask, a macaroon enduring lip color, and some due date. And then that is our primer spray again. So again, if you have not gotten a gift for yourself yet, this one is phenomenal. I highly recommend it. Gorgeous little advent calendar, um, multi-window Hanukkah gift. If you are meeting up with people after the holiday is over or if you want to express shipping it for something a little more soon to be. So that being said, let's play with a little holiday look. I'm using my sunscreen as my um, foundation primer and go-to goodness first thing. Um, this stuff's amazing. It is, not only is it SPF 30, it's all natural. It is reef safe, which means that the particles are not so fine and function in a way that they coat and cover reefs, thereby cutting off their supply of oxygen and nutrients and killing them. So it's reef safe, which is amazing. Sustainably sourced, all that good stuff. I'm putting a little on the top of my hands because honestly, ladies, um, we need sunscreen on the top of our hands also because it is the first place that will show our age. Um, gonna go in with a little bit of concealer on my lids because I'm gonna do my eyes first. So this is my concealer number three that I love and I'm obsessed with. And this is actually, if you're a makeup junkie and know some of the history of makeup, this is 
This concealer is actually what Kevin Aquan used to use as foundation. So you've seen me in other videos also use it as just foundation or to spot cover to just be in and out really quick in the day. Um, just looking at my mirror that's right behind here, which I should maybe show you because this has been one of the best gifts of the season so far. Um, and it is the Ricky mirror, which is, let's play with some of the light settings. That's one, two, three, four, five. Get super bright. So even though I'm standing here in front of a window, um, it is just phenomenal to get some really great illumination and balanced light because if you saw my post a couple of days ago, I stand in front of a window. I have mirrors on both sides of me, but I don't get balanced light. Like half of my face is always in shadows if I'm using one of those mirrors. So I end up not entirely sure what my makeup looks like until I get in my car and look to see how it looks. And that's not always cute. And when I used to work out of the house full time, I would have to sometimes be places really early in the morning, which meant that, um, I was leaving before the sun was up. I'm just doing a nice layer of concealer around my eyes because I wanna do a little bit of concealing as well. And then I'm gonna go back and do my foundation after um, I finish with my eyes. But we're gonna be doing kind of a really lovely smoky eye that you can adjust the intensity of. So I'm gonna start with my brush number eight, that was my concealer brush, which is brush number six. I was reading it upside down, brush number six. Um, I'm now going in with brush number eight, which is a like buffed, um, I call it like a, like a buffing eyeshadow brush. And I'm getting my dial it black because we love this stuff and I'm just gonna pat it on. And I'm patting it so that I get a little more intensity to the color. I don't want to start brushing it all over just yet because I'm going to blend with some other colors. And as always, this is the placement that I use for my eye shape. Um, you know what? Let's go in just a little bit deeper. We're going to do like a super intense smoky eye. Hi there, say hi when you pop on. I'm still really just tapping to get the coverage that I want. And then I'm just blending into the crease a little bit, really, really lightly with just kind of like the tips of the brush. But tapping also kind of, it gets it into my slightly older not so super firm eyes um, in a really nice way that doesn't create heightened appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, which is something we all kind of want, right? Because if you pull and you brush, you sometimes create creases. Just going back into the lash line to really intensify it right there. Back in on this eye, just tapping, blending out some of those areas so that they're nice and intense. So this is probably something that I would do for a holiday party. It's really bold. Um, or a New Year's Eve event. But I will tell you, Back in the day, I didn't do it in a cute way. It's not cute at all. 
but back in the day when I would go out, I would do a black and white smoky eye. Or I would do like navy, navy or burgundy, but I was known for doing like a black and white smoky eye. So I'm just really adding more intensity on this outer corner. So I'm just layering the black on. Um, if you've been around for a while, you know I'm obsessed with the Onyx palette that we had last year. And I would love to see that back, so I keep petitioning to get that returned because it's even blacker than what you're seeing now. It's amazing. It's amazing. I love it. So that's some dial-up black. So I'm gonna retire this brush for the moment. And I'm gonna get a big fluffy brush. This is brush number 10. You see it's a nice big fluffy brush. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm grabbing Radio Star, which is this like pewtery sort of color. I would use some of the colors. I just banged into my whole case that's hanging out here. I would use some of the colors in the um, Danessa collection because there's a gorgeous pewter color in there, except that palette's not available. So why would I tease you with that until I can get it to you? So right now I'm brushing this into my brow bone to create some intensity, but a little bit of, um, now I'm going into the inner corner. Just to create a pop. It's like, oops, I put too much on my brush there, so I'm gonna have to use that for the inner corner because it was way too much to brush into the brow bone because this is still a super intense color. And because this is a, gonna be a super intense smoky eye, you'll see in a minute why um, I'm gonna be doing concealer and foundation and everything afterwards. So I'm same brush I had before, this is brush number eight, and I'm gonna buff a little bit up into, because this is just how I do color for my eyes. I kind of like to create like a, a wing effect in my shadow. I have to dip in. So I literally just got a drop I just tapped it in really quick. So at this point, I'm just gonna be playing with blending and adding intensity. And I'm using my mirror to see reflectively what it looks like. Now you also know how I do kind of the geometry of eye shapes. So for my eye, I kind of go from where the pupil is and that outer corner is where I make it more intense. And I like to keep it lined up and ended with, so I line it up with my nose to the corner of my eye to the corner of my eyebrow. And that's actually kind of where your eyebrow should end when you carry it over. So we'll, we'll play with that geometry again in a minute when I go back and do my brows because with this intense of an eye, Gotta have a brow, which I am not a brow person, but I'm so obsessed with our brow products that I have started using them on a regular basis because they're just amazing. And I have become a brow person with them. So I'm just taking a little bit of Dial It Black again on my brush number eight, and I'm just kind of creating a really soft winged effect by starting up at that upper corner and just blending down into where I have it on that outer corner of the eye. And now for shape, I'm going back in with my 10 to create
again, this is something I would do for like a New Year's Eve party or like somewhere where I get to wear heels. And as a mom with a toddler, I do not wear heels very often in my life anymore because nobody wants to be wobbly walking around with a toddler. It's not cute. Um, so I'm going in now with my smoky liner brush, which is brush number 11. And I'm going back to my dial it black and taking a few little taps and we're gonna go in the lower lash line. And I'm carrying that into the inner corner pretty far because this is a pretty smoky look. And I'm making sure that it's filled in in that outer corner. If you wanted to get really jazzy, you could go in with like a nice deep purple, bronze, green, and you could adjust these colors and the intensity of it with something like deep and stunning, like a blue or a green. And just add a different dimension to it. So is everyone, oh, see that's another reason I didn't do my foundation yet. Just in case you smush somewhere else, you can go back and clean it up. Is everyone all decorated for the holidays? I'm not, we got our lights up on our house outside today, which is super exciting. It made me very happy. So, alrighty. I'm going to take my traditional foundation brush, which is brush number four. And now we are going to start with some, actually, yeah, we're gonna start with some foundation. Now, this one I am still working through. And I'm using it to kind of cut that corner and create a bit more intensity in that eye shape. So it's also serving to not clean up, but sharpen the eye. See how that just cleaned that up? I love this little trick. If you're one of those people, you can use like tape or something like that. I am not that person. I am not that person. I like doing my foundation before I do my brows so that I can, I get kind of pink right above my brows and I like to really make sure that's evened out. I'm gonna do a bit more coverage on my cheeks and areas that I have redness so that I can, I love those holiday looks where it's like a flawless smoky eye, porcelain flawless skin, which I do not have. I'm covered in freckles um, and like a really soft or bold lip to kind of go with all of it and compliment it. Like I love those looks, but like I said, I am covered in freckles, so. I get really good coverage and I could pile it on to get like full coverage, but I'm also very used to seeing my freckles and I feel like I look weird without them. It's kind of like when Lindsay Lohan back in the day started changing up her makeup to cover up all her freckles and everyone said she didn't look like herself anymore. It's that. It's that sort of thing. Hi, Vishwati. How are your holidays going? So just blending out and I need to get in my hairline because 
I live in Southern California and the sun is always out, except in the summer. And then it's weird, I don't know. Okay, blend down. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer on my cheeks to just give a little more coverage because foundation has, our foundation has over 50% pigment. I believe the exact number is 52%. Um, our concealer has over 70% pigment. So a little bit really does go a long way. Alrighty. Nice and evened out, but I would like a little bit of color back added back in. So I'm getting I'm grabbing my bronzer and I'm grabbing one of our new brushes, which is brush number 18. And we actually call this one the contouring brush. And I know I just put makeup on here, but I'm gonna bronze it back out. So one of the things that they say to do for bronzer is to do a three for some subtle contouring. And that's like an old school trick from the 80s too. 80s, 90s. Get in that cheekbone. And this is one of those times where you could really like glam it up because it's for a holiday. And we always like to just be a little bit extra on the holidays. I don't bring my contour all the way down. I kind of bring it to the middle of my cheek because that's where on my face shape, the pocket kind of happens. Okay, so that was some bronzer. Love it. I'm gonna keep the same brush. And I want a little bit of a flush to my cheek. So this is blush number one, Alive. It's matte, it doesn't have a shimmer. And just a little a little dabbing on to add some color and some dimension. Now I'm putting the blush in here, so it's kind of going in this area and then highlight is gonna go over that. And I'm just tapping it on because I want it to look a little more flush just a little bit up here because that's where we would get some sun hitting. Keep getting all these emails coming through. So the emails can go away. All right, now I need my blush number six glowing, but you know what? I'm not even going to, I'm going to use a little bit of this, but I'm going to use a little bit um, of, I'm still just using the same brush and that's just going right on the top of the cheekbone to look super glam and really glowy. And then whatever's left on my brush. Super glam and glowy. And I'm taking a little bit of my cream highlighter and I'm gonna go in with, I don't know if I wanna do diamond or LED. I think I'm gonna do some LED, which is right here. And I'm literally just taking a couple of dabs on my finger, just for a little bit of extra glow, without looking like a Christmas ornament myself. Like I don't, I don't want that look. Now I'm gonna, you see it's like super extra, so I'm gonna blend that in a little bit more with a finger that's not covered because I am not the see all of my tricks sort of person. And I really wanna like blend that in a little bit. Alrighty. Put what's left on my lips so that we get a little bit of a glow when I put something on them in a minute. That was LED from our cream highlighter palette. This stuff is 
just amazing. Just amazing, but you know I love it. Alrighty. Piece de Resistance, my favorite black liner. Love this stuff. And I'm gonna go in pretty intense um, just to really get some coverage. And I'm doing the full lash line, corner to corner. It's still gonna be more intense on the outside, but you see just that little bit gives it that additional pop. And I'm not taking it up in a wing because that's not the effect that I wanna have, but if you do, you can totally do that. I really just wanna like emphasize the deepness of that lash line. and the intensity. I'm gonna go in my lower lash line and I'm gonna do my dots, but I'm gonna do quite a few of them pretty close together. Because again, I want the intensity. And it just gives that last little bit of something different dimension because it's a different medium. It's a liquid, not a powder. So it's kind of like when you're using um, traditional artist tools. There's a difference between watercolors and acrylic paints and um, various different mediums that you would work in. So for us, whether you're working in a, a cream or a powder or um, I still think that as makeup artist, we talk about working in mediums. I'm just adding a little bit of softness in there because I feel like I was a little too cut and I wanted a little bit softer and carrying a little bit more towards the lower lash line. So now we need some lashes love this stuff. So you can do some falsies, but you still want to blend them in with some mascara. I'm just going to go full glam with um, my mascara here. I'm doing a rolling coat on the top so that it kind of encapsulates my lashes. And then coat number one. because I really want a luscious, luscious lash with this. Now, to the other side. Rolling over the top to get a layer there. And if you're a lash curler, you wanna curl your lashes before you start applying coats of mascara because if you do it after, what you're going to do is create bends and breakage, and we don't wanna do that. We wanna keep our long, luscious, natural lashes. All right, going back to the other side for another coat. So this mascara is amazing, because you can keep building it, and we're going out for an event, um, I would probably throw it in my purse and I would be doing a good number of coats before I got to wherever I was going to really get some like super, super length and volume. So you see, I just keep applying more and more coats because what it's doing is as I'm going over it, it's grabbing all the little fibers that are on the brush and it's creating the extension for my lashes, which is why this stuff is amazing and buildable. 
and I keep trying to replicate my son's lashes. He has this like intense area right in here that's longer than the rest. So we'll go in and I'll do a few little vertical strokes. And if you noticed, I'm swirling in my mascara. Never pump, because what that does is it pushes bacteria into it and it pushes air into the tube, which is going to shorten the life of your mascara. It's gonna turn to glue and you're really not gonna get anything out of it. So you wanna twist and twirl. And if it's feeling a little less than and you need to like pinch another day or two out of it, drop a couple drops of saline or a drop or two of some due date in there. Swirl it around to get it some extra fluidity and pop on over to your phone to order your next tube because if it's drying out, it means it's done. It's time to get a new one, but I recommend a new one every three-ish months anyway, because we do not want to keep applying the bacteria that it accumulates to our face, right? I'm gonna come back for more, but I need to do these brows. Um, so I am grabbing my brows in one and two and throwing them because with a look that's this intense I really need a good brow so this is number two and I'm just going in here to add some dimension to the middle of my brows if you really want to add like a nice deep brow this is so buildable also like our mascara if you really want to add a lot of dimension, you can brush in the opposite direction and then um, go back in the natural growth direction of where your brows are going. These things are another hot holiday item, but it's one of those things that's like, well, everybody's shopping, they're shopping for these for themselves, and I don't blame them because they really are a great gift to yourself even just the clear one so that is i'm gonna take that little blob right there off so that was number two and then i'm gonna go back in with number one for a little bit of continuity and intensity on the end of my brows because i don't want it to be as dark but one i do want them to like keep a shape so this is great for like locking down a shape that's not gonna move. Or I could just go in with the clear. Most days I just do the clear. Um, but if I needed to, like I said, your brow should end over here. So if I need to add a couple of little hairs, I can just swipe them on and then create my brow. Just for a little bit more intensity. And those brows just finish off my look before a lip. We still need a lip. And for lip, I'm doing super simple and I'm going in with my two shades of nude, nude lip liner, which are their liners number one and two. I'm gonna do a little bit more intense on um, the outer corner. And we've talked about it. These are the longest wearing of our lip products. They go on like a lipstick. Um, they are not hydrating like a lot of our other products, but they are incredibly long wearing. even so I don't think any of our lips are perfectly symmetrical so lip liner is a great way to get some of that symmetry
that may be lacking otherwise. So that's just creating some shape for me. I'm gonna go in with liner number two, which is the lighter of the two nudes, and I'm gonna fill in a little bit more. Because for holiday parties, hi neighbors. Typically when we want the longest wearing products that we can possibly get. Now, I should have grabbed it before I, oh, the lipstick gods were with me. So my all time favorite, not telling. Nice little swipe over because I want a nice neutral lip. And this is gonna add some hydration. and a nice consistent color. So, one holiday look in the books. Um, super intense smoky eye, and like I said, you can add more, you can add less. Um, you can add a pop of color if you wanted to do a nice jewel tone, which are so popular right now. Um, but I still love kind of like a black, white, and gray smoky eye. Um, if I wanted to change it up a little, I could probably add a little bit of pink. Um, like a dusty rose color, just bring that in there a little bit, add a um, little pop of sparkle in another way. So there's a lot of different ways that you could add some variation, but you kind of can't go wrong with like a nice, bold, smoky eye to get holiday ready. So I thought it was a great way to launch the first of 12 days of holiday looks. Um, if you guys have a particular look that you would like to see, please let me know, I would love to create it for you. Otherwise, I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. If you would like to shop for any of the products that I have talked about today, there is a link on my site that you can look at and it has everything there and I would be happy to go through and um, tell you what we, what I used. They're all available individually. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day and if you wanna like and share and send somebody my way to tell them to go shopping for you, I'd be happy to help them out. Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon.